Good morning to everybody and today I'm going to show you how to set up MSP430 for the first time with Energia. So we will start by downloading or opening the browser and make sure your computer has at least uh, one or two gigabytes of free hard disk space with one GB of RAM is enough. If you're running Windows uh, PC, uh, make sure you have the updated version because if you're Windows XP users, make sure you have SP3 uh, update installed and if you're Windows Vista, Service Pack 2, if you're in Windows 7, Service Pack 1 and if you're in Windows 8 and 10, doesn't matter, it works pretty well. Alright, so the browser, make sure it's connected to internet and type Energia download. All right, so sometimes the link may be down, uh, don't get discouraged, you can always try again. So let's click in the first link, energia.nu, see there, go down and make sure uh, you download the appropriate uh, one for your operating system. I have downloaded this uh, for Windows, so I'll go to downloads folder. There we go. I got Energia 1.6 version already installed. So let's go ahead and extract it. If you don't have an extractor like a built-in extractor, then you can even install 7-zip. Okay, 7-zip is an easy tool, and you can make sure you extract the files here. Let's take a couple of minutes. The interesting thing is Energia comes with the uh, inbuilt uh, Java or a bundled Java so you don't have to install it uh, separately. Alright so we got our file extracted. Okay there we go. This is our actual application. If you are interested you can even send it to our desktop. There we go. Just double click to open. All right. wait for it all right so I don't know if that's normal it opens up with a sketch that's okay uh, now you go to uh, tools board so I got this uh, MSP MSP 430G2553 so I have selected this board but again there is a catch. First time when I tried to install it uh, showed up with a variety of errors. So what I did is I went to board manager. Yeah, I let it allow. Let us allow it for download the index files in, at the first time because then you go to update, uh, types and updatable. Alright, right now I don't have one so what you do is you go to more info and make sure you select the latest version because uh, it's really important for proper functionality all right so because if you don't update this uh, then you'll end up with uh, different kind of errors and next thing is uh, selection of port you can see here we got only com1 here so let's go ahead and connect Alright, we got a LED blinking. One of the disadvantages in uh, Texas Launchpad is it doesn't show anything while uploading the sketch. Because in Audino we got this uh, colorful LEDs blinking while the TX and RX are active. Alright, so we got a sketch here. It's about fade. Uh, if you're wondering how to open it, you can go to examples. Basics, bare minimum, blink, fade. I'd like to go with blink. So it's famous. Anyway, so now we have connected uh, our MSP. Usually, the Energia website says that whichever com that is higher, uh, that is the one where our board is connected. Just to make sure everything is okay, we will go to start menu, 
device manager then go to ports there we go it's in console as advertised by Energia all right so sometimes this uh, driver might show some kind of error with the hello exclamation mark danger symbol I mean caution symbol should I say in that case what you can do is go to a browser type MSPDS drivers right remember the keyword MSPDS now yeah you see the first uh, link MSPDS debug stack all right just click it wait for it yeah there we go we got our MSPDS USB drivers just click so get software load in all right my internet is kind of slow all right so there we go the setup it's about 15 megabytes uh, so I got one already uh, downloaded so there we go you see it here again you gotta extract it this time I'm going to use the built-in extractor yeah pretty much leave it the default all right all right so MSP driver setup just click it and you have to approve any user access control user account access control whatever yeah let it open next accept next next make sure this uh, checked otherwise nothing is gonna work all right so next packing wait for it ah yeah, that's that's it all right so that's how you make sure all the drivers are installed perfectly fine still this might not have been updated in your device manager in such cases you go to device manager again ports right click update driver browse my computer let me pick from the list show compatible hardware Texas instruments yeah we got we'll usually have this folder once we install it click the top ones most probably and click next all right now my installing drivers well wow. updated successfully all right anyway it's just to make sure you don't run up in any kind of errors right all right, so we got a ports in concern. All right, so let's fire it up. See if anything's actually blinking. Yeah. Let's see if. All right. Definitely takes time to compile the sketch. Yeah, we're uploading. Uploading done. Yeah, there we go. We got a LED blinking see that so that's it guys that's how you set up energy for the first time and for the first time without any errors thanks for watching do let us know what you think about this video so 